Samsung's software experience has improved significantly from the nightmarish TouchWiz days. With the launch of One UI last year, Samsung addressed several issues with its software and now it's taking things to another level. Users are now starting to receive updates for One UI 2.0 and that's exactly what this video is going to be about. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and in this video, we'll take a look at the new One UI 2.0 and of course, we'll talk about the new features Samsung has introduced in this update. So let's get right to it, shall we? To kick things off, let's first talk about all the new features in One UI 2.0. Now, I'm sure you already know about all of the new Android 10 features. So we are going to skip those and head straight to the features Samsung has added on top of Android 10. Now, with Android 10, Google has once again changed the way you navigate around your phone. You'll find the new navigation gestures in One UI 2.0 as well, but along with the gestures, you'll get a handy little toggle to adjust the back gesture sensitivity. You see, Android 10's native navigation gestures aren't all that great, especially because of the back gesture. So in order to make sure that you don't have any problems with it, Samsung has included a slider at the bottom of the full screen gestures settings. You can move it to the left to decrease the sensitivity or move it to the right to increase it. Pretty straightforward, right? The next thing you should check out is the alternative look under face recognition. Here you can either improve face recognition with an alternate look of yours or scan a different face altogether. This way, two faces can be registered to unlock the phone using facial recognition. We tested it and it worked without any issues. Now let's talk about the camera app. While there are not many changes here, the one thing I really liked is the option to set the camera mode as per my usage pattern. Previously, the option to shift the camera modes was hidden in settings, but now it can be done by swiping to the mode and then tapping on the pencil icon to enable the edit option. Now you can just tap and hold the modes to drag them wherever you like, and that's it. Next time you wish to swap your favorite model in the camera, just a few swipes would do the work. Moving on, let's take a look at Samsung's Device Care app. The app has received a major update with One UI 2.0 and some of its sections have been redesigned to offer more information. For instance, the battery usage graph here is now more comprehensive and you can see exactly which apps are using up your phone's battery. The app now also gives you the option to remove duplicate images from your phone if you want to save some space and it has a new battery limit setting for the wireless power share feature that will make sure that you don't completely discharge your phone while trying to help your friend out in case of an emergency. Next up, let's talk about the one-handed mode. On One UI 2.0, you'll be able to access the one-handed mode by double tapping on the home button or swiping down in the center at the bottom of the screen. This makes it much easier to use the one-handed mode. Now, if your phone has an in-display fingerprint scanner, like our Galaxy Note 10 here, One UI 2.0 will allow you to customize when the fingerprint icon is shown. You can choose to have the fingerprint icon appear at all times, never, or only when the always on display is shown. This new feature can really come in handy for those of you who are still not used to the in-display fingerprint scanner and want to make sure that you are keeping your finger on the right spot to unlock your phone. Next up, let's talk about an extremely useful feature added to the Contacts app. Have you ever mistakenly deleted a contact and regretted it immediately after doing so? Well, with One UI 2.0, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Just like the Gallery app, the Contacts app now too has a new trash feature, which will keep your deleted contacts safe in a trash folder for 15 days after you delete them. So in case you even delete one by mistake, you can easily jump into the folder and restore it with a single tap. Moving on now, let's focus on the Calendar app, which has also received some new useful features. In One UI 2.0, the Calendar app now allows you to add priority options to event alerts. On top of that, the app now also lets you add stickers to dates without creating an event. So if you want to set a quick reminder for something like, you know, buying groceries, or on a particular date, you can just add a sticker and forget about it. The app will remind you to go grocery shopping with the sticker when the date arrives. Isn't that cool? Speaking of reminders, there are some useful changes for that as well. 
One UI 2.2 has a couple of additional options for repeating reminders. It now lets you set location-based reminders for a specific period of time, and it even lets you share reminders with your family group or any other group. On top of that, you can also set reminders for a specific date without creating an alert, which makes the process so much more simple. Remember the trash feature in the contacts app we just talked about? Well, One UI 2.0 adds a similar feature to the files app as well. So if you accidentally delete a file from your phone, you'll be able to restore it in an instant. Additionally, the files app now has more filters to help you easily search for files on your phone. And it even allows you to copy or move multiple files and folders at the same time. Along with these features, One UI 2.0 also adds speed and time units to the calculator app, brings native Android Auto support, and some minor changes to the browser app. One UI 2.0 is currently available in beta for the Samsung Galaxy S10 and Note 10 series, but we expect Samsung to roll it out to more phones in the coming weeks. If you own a Galaxy S10 or Note 10, then you can try the latest beta on your phone right away. Just make sure to share your experience with us in the comments below. And do subscribe to Guiding Tech if you want more such videos in the future. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.